And now to the latest headlines on the coronavirus. Jen is with our Insta MD, Dr. Dorian. All right, thanks, Billy. Dr. D, let's get right to it. I want to talk about how, you know, the, the confirmed cases of coronavirus in the U.S. have now officially topped 5 million, but we're seeing a huge spike in the number of young adults and teens who are getting this virus. 97,000 young people got the coronavirus in the last two weeks alone. Does this dismantle everything that we thought about transmission? We always knew that kids will be able to transmit it. We also knew that kids will get it. These rumors about them being immune, please, let's, let's get rid of that. Kids can get sick from coronavirus. Yes, their illness is normally or more likely milder, but some kids will die from it. Months after she was infected, COVID survivor Alyssa Milano has been dealing with lingering effects, including hair loss. One brushing. This is my hair loss. And she just went to the ER to rule out a blood clot. She is experiencing apparently a resurgence of her COVID-19 symptoms months after she apparently had the virus. So is that a common thing? There definitely are people who have lingering symptoms for weeks, months. But then there's the factor of you're in a lockdown. You are somebody who suffered from an illness. Mm -hmm. You don't know if the symptom is from COVID or is it anxiety. Blood clots are a problem. Thankfully, it appears that it was negative in her case. We're hearing about this modified version of a drug normally prescribed to treat erectile dysfunction in adult males has shown promising results with coronavirus patients. What's the connection there? A lot of uh, medications that treat erectile dysfunction, what they do is they vasodilate, fancy word for increase the, the, the size of the blood vessel mm -hmm. so that blood can flow. Well, you can see that with regards to lungs and the need for oxygenation. If you can increase the size of your blood vessels, you can actually help oxygenate. Yeah. So that thought process kind of makes sense. Researchers also are saying that a cold that you got years ago could prove helpful if your body has to fight the new coronavirus. So explain that. We have all probably been infected of coronaviruses previously, yeah. not COVID-19, but is it, there common is a difference. colds, yeah. yes, there are coronaviruses. So those coronaviruses that we've been exposed to, mm -hmm. our body has developed these cells, T cells, that have recognized that infection and can fight it off. The fact that you've had coronavirus, not COVID-19, right. previously gives you an edge. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.